Okay, good morning to all of you. I'm audible to you so that we can start the class. Thank you, Chaitra Nivedita Vidya. Thank you. Let us go to the today's uh, subtopic. I think we are going to complete this uh, chapter today. Give me a few seconds. PPT is taking time to go to the next slide. Okay. Design a single error correcting Hamming code. Note down all of you. Design a single error correcting Hamming code. I think this is already copied or uh, I think this is over. All of you copied last class. I think let me check it. Yeah, up to this, I think I have shown to you. If I am right, no, no, okay, copied. Okay, so just I am showing you again. Uh, this we wrote. This combination you can write anything a uh, four bit zeros and one combination, but ensure that it should not be one zero 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 one zero 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 one zero 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 one because. These are the part of our identity matrix and all zero. These five had to leave remaining any combination you can use. This is one point which you have to remember. Last class we had discussed. From H, get the P and then you can write the G. So I have shown this uh, G also. And uh, once if you know the parity matrix, writing the G is not a problem. Simply you have to go for a identity matrix followed by the parity matrix. All code word can be found, no need to do it because 2 rest 11, even 1 hour is, may not be enough for you people, a lot of combinations will come, no need to find, at least for your uh, reference you can do 1 or 2 later. Uh, let us consider all 0 I have sent, I have used data, then C will be all zeros definitely, but received is say 0, 0 all zeros, but last I am getting a 1, 0. Find the syndrome. S equal to Rh transpose. Write a syndrome in the chat box what you are getting. Take a one minute, do it. All of you have a H transpose. I'll show you the H transpose also. And uh, note down the R now for another 10 seconds. Then I'll show you the H transpose which is there in your notebook. But still, I'll show you again. This is the H transpose, what we have. Okay, hope uh, most of you have copied the H transpose also and uh, hope all of you are having a R also. Uh, let me see R is transpose in uh, chat box. All of you know how to multiply. Just multiply to the H transpose. Hope all of you have copied R also, H transpose also. Devidas, Preeti, sorry, uh, Praveen, Rohit, Shivani, uh, Spurti, Aditya. And uh, all are getting same answer. Vinay, Ankita, Adnya, Prithviraj. Prithviraj is getting different. Pannang Prabhu, Abhay, 
Okay, some names I'm seeing now. Good. Geeta, Parmeshwara, Amrita. All are getting 0010. Only one or two students they have shown the different answer. Vijay Lakshmi, Ritika, Abhishek, Prajakta, Devaraj. All the students are getting a 0010. Let me show you what I got. I too got a 0010. It is a 14th row of H transpose. Let's take a one minute, copy down this, you only can observe. It is a 14th row of a H transpose. From left, a 14th bit is in error. We can conclude. Ashilpa, Harsha, Devaraj all got a 0010 as a syndrome. Now we can write a one concluding line because S equal to 0010, it is a 14th row of a H transpose. From left, 14th bit is in error. Let me go to the next slide. There is another 5 seconds, I will wait. Let others complete. Okay. Take an example. Find the generator matrix G and parity check matrix H. Find the generator matrix G and parity check matrix H. For a linear block code with the matrix H for a linear block code with a minimum dis distance 3 and a message block size of 8 bits. Find the generator matrix G and parity check matrix H for a linear block code with a matrix H for a linear block code with a minimum distance 3 and a message block size of 8 bits. Message block size of 8 bits. Okay, let us go to the, I will wait for another 30 seconds. Those who are not yet copied, let them copy. Then I will go to the solution. Let me go to the next slide. Note down the code length n is given by equation A. Uh, n is less than or equal to 2 raised to n minus k minus 1. It is given that in the problem statement k equal to 8. Fill k equal to 8. By trial and error method, n may be found to be 12 But says that the code would be 12,8 code. The transpose of H matrix is given by. The transpose of H matrix is given by. 12,8 means you will understand. 
और इसे के वैल्यू एन माइनस के वैल्यू एन वैल्यू ऑल यू विल कम टू नो वेन आई से ट्वेल्व का माई एट एट इज गिवन इन द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट ओनली ट्वेल्व आई हैव फाउंड दे फॉर इट्स ट्वेल्व का माई एट नो यू कैन रेड अ ट्रांसपोज ऑल ऑफ अस नो ट्रांसपोज ऑफ एच मैट्रिक्स इज हैविंग अ पी फॉलोड बाय आइडेंटिटी मैट्रिक्स पी साइज इज के कॉमा एन माइनस के इट इज एट बाय फोर any eight combinations you can write but we have chosen these but you cannot choose 1000010 these are part of identity matrix so you cannot choose all zeros there for remaining any you can use you can copy down this the h matrix is given by it is h transpose once if you write h transpose h matrix you can write once if you write h h transpose you can write a g matrix So one such transpose is written. Sir, how you got these things? This is one say, sample, simple question will come in the mind. Any combination zeros and one you can use, but not all zeros. Not part of identity matrix rows you should use. Remaining you can use any. And to have a unique. H transpose for all the students uh, start from zero zero one one. So one zero zero I cannot use one zero one 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 zero one 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 triple zero I cannot use. So like that if you start from zero zero double one, everybody's H transpose will remain same in the exam also. Take another ten to twenty seconds. Write down neatly. Those are completed. H transpose. They can write down H. They can go for G. They can write down G matrix also. Let me show you the H. So H matrix. And those are completed already. The H matrix. They can go for G. They can write an identity matrix followed by a parity. Parity is in your notebook already. Make use of that. Write down G equal to identity. Write down later you can compare what I am going to show. That will boost your confidence if the answer is correct what you have written in your notebook. let me go to the next so that i can show you the g matrix that it completes the take a 30 seconds those are not completed they can copy down those are completed they can compare those are written g completely they can relax they can close their eyes for a few seconds so that they can give rest to their eyes also and let them relax so that they won't get a back pain they won't get a eye pain etc for another 10 seconds so let me go to the next slide hoping all of you have copied g matrix or you might have written already just i'm showing you Take this uh, problem as a homework. You can do it. Nothing new. The parity check bits of uh, eight comma four block code are generated by the parity check bits of a uh, eight comma four block code are generated by C five equal to C six, C seven, C eight equal to given equation. C five is a D one plus D two plus D four. C six equal to D one, D two, D three. 
C7 equal to D1, D3, D4. C8 equal to D2, D3, D4. Find the generator matrix where D1, D2, D3, D4 are message bits. Where D1, D2, D3, D4 are message bits. Find the generator matrix and parity check matrix for this code. Find the generator matrix and the parity check matrix for this code. Find the minimum weight of this code. Find the minimum weight of this code. Show that it is capable of correcting all single error patterns. Show that it is capable of correcting all single error patterns and capable of detecting a double errors by preparing the syndrome table by preparing the syndrome table for them. Just I'll show you the slides, no need to copy, we will not discuss because the next subheading is there that we will try to finish. Okay, let me go to the just a solution. Uh, I will not discuss this, I will show you for your reference. This is a C equal to D into G. All of you know how to write down the parity bits D1, D2, D4, D1, D2, D4, like that. And I have written the G. Once if I know the G, I can write down C equal to D into G. I can write down the code words. I can write H also. And uh, another way, when we use a H matrix, I will add a columns to get all zeros. So, how many columns I had to add based on that also? I can because sometimes it is difficult to find out all the code words. If it is a 10, 8 or 16, something like that, it is possible. As the number of code words becomes more, it is difficult to find out a hamming weight also. So hence they use this technique. We add the H transpose a H matrix and based on how many we are adding to get a zero, that will be the uh, minimum hamming weight you can say. Then uh, uh, these are the code vector we can find out and let us uh, this is a syndrome also SR transpo and uh, double error correcting pattern also shown making a two bits error okay just you can do it and uh, this is another example just take and you can do it if a time permits will come back uh, for a systematic 74 linear block code for a systematic 74 linear block code, the parity matrix P is given by the parity matrix P is given by P equal to first row triple one, second double one zero, third one zero one. 4th 0 double 1 find all possible valid code vectors find all possible valid code vectors draw the corresponding encoding circuit one standard question like this will come in IA also, even in the end semester exam also. Draw the corresponding encoding circuit. A single error has occurred in each of these received vectors. 
a single error has occurred in each of these received vectors a single error has occurred in each of these received vectors detect and correct those errors detect and correct those errors r a equal to 0 5 ones 0 0 5 ones 0 rb equal to 10 triple 1 double 0 rb equal to 10 triple 1 double 0 rc equal to 101 four zeros rc equal to 101 Four zeros. Draw the syndrome calculation circuit. Draw the syndrome calculation circuit. This is a complete chapter almost, and uh, sometimes they may give twenty marks. They may ask you to uh, solve this particular example, and while copying a P and all, copy down properly. If P goes wrong while copying, uh, a lot of things will go wrong. Your encoder circuit, everything will go wrong. So after copying from question paper to the answer sheet. check the p matrix what you have copied is correct or not i hope most of you know how to do the uh, how to find the valid core vectors c is equal to d into g how to write g g is equal to ip all of you know how to uh, draw the encoding circuit how to draw the syndrome calculation circuit decoding will be little complex and uh, it takes a time that's all and single error how to find out rh transpose can do it we'll come to know the position and make 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 this is a solution for this particular example this is just a solution i don't want to discuss because it's the same problem what you have discussed earlier these are code vectors and uh, this is an encoder circuit and uh, c is equal to d into g h equal to all of you know how to write and how to find out a syndrome or h transpose let me go to the important part of this particular chapter yeah we'll spend a little more time on this now take a heading they will ask you to construct the standard array they may give p they may give h transpose they may give h like a previous problem only a one bit will be there construct the standard array take a heading construct the standard array g is given 100101 Second row zero one double zero double one. Second row zero one double zero double one. Third row double zero triple one zero. Double zero triple one zero. Find the code words. I want you people to find the code words now. We'll spend a little time for this particular problem, uh, and you can write your code words in the. chat box very simple c equal to d into g everybody knows how to do even some students may be expert to type directly by observing the g once if you find all the code words then we'll discuss how to write the standard array and also write down h h transpose okay uh, many students have written code words thank you janavi vinit devdas simran devidas adnya parmeshwara vinay priya patil and they are using their uh, different data abhay uh, prajakta charan bharat pragati all are typing swasani vishay lakshmi and uh, shripad geeta geeta has typed uh, four at a time thank you geeta shilpa pannag prabhu has typed 
अभिषेक कुलकर्णी विद्या चरण चैत्रा आज्ञा स्फूर्ति सिद्धार्थ सिमरन हेज टाइप्ड मोस्ट ऑफ द कोड वर्ड्स आई एम श्योर ऑल ऑफ यू नो हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द कोड वर्ड्स एंड डेफिनेटली यू मेट हर कंप्लीटेड चरण ऋतिका अमृता यम अभय प्रजक्ता रोहन एंड नायक लोहित साई मंथन विल नॉट टाइप एट ऑल यूजली विद्या अभिरूप एंड anybody cannot uh, i think all of you know kannada in this particular uh, anybody who don't cannot understand kannada you can type your name or just type i don't know kannada so that i'll come to know who will not understand kannada okay pravin patil saujanya gaura preeti abhirup joshi devraj nivedita nutin vidgir vidya priya patil most of them completed the triple one now almost amrita h Chaitra, Harsha, Kartik. Are you there, Sai Manthan? Vidya, Kalkiri, Shivani. Okay. Prithviraj is there? Prithviraj? Kartik Ganhir has typed Malikarjun. Shivani has typed all the code words at a time. Prithviraj was there in the beginning. Anyway, Rohan, you are teaching most of the time. 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 Charen has typed. Very good. Let me show you the code words. Hope all of you have completed the triple one now. Asoha, Sini, Vidya, Prachakta, Prithviraj, Amrita. Let me show you the... I want you people to write H and H transpose both. Code word. You already typed most of you. H also you write down in your notebook. H transpose also. I'll give you 30 seconds. H transpose you write down because it uh, is needed uh, for uh, constructing the standard array. So H transpose if it is ready then it will be easy to construct the standard array. When you start writing the cons uh, standard array, uh, we need a, a little space. Don't start at the end of the page. L at least have half a page so that you can write down neatly. A uh, table you have to write, which should take a little space and time also. It's uh, not difficult, but it's a time consuming. It's not difficult, it's a time consuming. You can understand. But to write it, it takes a time. Hope all of you have completed uh, writing the H transpose in your notebook. So let me go to the next slide after the another two seconds. Hope all of you have written the H transpose. Now observe carefully. Uh, this is the way how I used to show earlier. Nowadays everything I am typing and that's why it's taking a lot of time for me to type everything. So these are the code words. Those who have already shared the code words, you can compare if something is wrong in my code word also, let me know. Let me check one or two. Triple one zero zero, double one zero Amrita has typed to double one zero. I think uh, double one zero, it is also correct. and. Uh, let me see another two, three. Yeah, most of them it's the same what you have told. I think let me check. Shivani has taken 0, double one, one, zero, one, zero, double one, zero, one. So most of the code words, what you are having, what I am having, uh, are same. So let me go to the next. What you are supposed to do, observe carefully. You need, these are all your code words. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. All these are code words. First row. Syndrome will be 0, 0. Coset later will be 0, 0, 0. Make these many columns. How many rows? H transpose rows. Observe carefully. First is the syndrome. I am writing 0. Coset leader, all zeros, 6 zeros. And uh, followed by, write down the code words. For example, 0, 0, 1, I have 1, 1, 0. Let me check. Somebody has typed here. 0, 0, 1. Uh, 1, 1, 0. Yeah, even I think Shivani has typed. So, next, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 
110111. I want you people to write down the first row. And I'll wait for a minute or two. Make a table. Write down the 00, zero syndrome, means there is no error. Hence, I'm writing as it is code words, but coset leader, I'll make all zeros. Everything is typed by me. Here and there, if some mistake is there, let me know from you. No problem, we'll change it. Because typing it a 0 and 1, that takes a lot of time. I not copied from anyway. I have typed all these things. Hope all of you have completed a first a zero 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 row. Below that, you are supposed to write the H transpose. 101, Next, what you have to make in the next row? Hope all of you have completed this much. Otherwise, I'll wait for another 30 seconds. If this table is ready, filling will be easy. And the procedure will remain the same. No need to solve the another one or two problems. Once if you know the procedure, you can solve 10 problems easily. And it's easy to understand but uh, difficult or not difficult it's time consuming even in the exam also it will take more time when you are writing it so now second room where you have written 101 simply what you have to do only first bit you have to change observe carefully First row, if you have already completed, make a change in the first bit and write down. Observe carefully and do it. Yes. 
So I took uh, two minutes, I got uh, some interruption. Okay, let me show you. Everywhere one bit changes there. First position bit has changed. Hope all of you have completed the first 101. Similarly, third one, most of you will do the mistake. Observe carefully. What you have to do? You have to change only the second bit of the first row this is the first row I have maintained now only the second bit I have to change of the first row not second observe it carefully see wherever 0 is there I have made it as 1 not to consider the middle one now only first and this one again see here it is 1 I have made it 0 this is 1 I have made it 0 this is like that continue and try to understand wherever 1 is there 0 if 0 is there make it 1 only the second bit in this particular row similarly what you have to do here you have to do third bit here you have to do fourth bit here you have to do fifth bit here you have to do sixth bit change of the first row okay now I will give you the time I want you people to fill everything and I will ask you people I will put a cursor, you can type that code later. Take a two minutes, fill all these things and I will show you the complete table also. So we have to change it from the first code, 100% true, as Purti is asking, yes, here consider always first row when you are making any changes, not to the previous row, this is a common mistake, most of the students they are going to do, that's why I am repeating again, only take reference as a first row, make first bit change you will get a, this row, make a second bit change of this, you will get this row, make a third bit change in this row, you will get this row. First code you have to take it as a reference. That is the reason I did not discuss much in the previous problem because it is new, I can spend more time on this. Still if you are getting doubts you can ask. And I want you people to fill remaining 3 or 4 rows similarly. At least here and there you fill it so that you will understand. Still if you have a doubts you can ask and when I show you the complete standard array you can compare what you have written in your notebook at least here and there uh, if something is different you can tell me okay I will show you the complete standard array Hoping all of you have understood. Just I'll give you some time. Compare your standard array, what you have written in your notebook with this. Here and there I might have typed wrong. I am also a human being. Let me know from you. Because 58 students are observing. 
So even if one student seeing uh, one or two, he'll come to you know. Let me show you the, as uh, having a call. This is the way how I used to show, but some things were wrong in the previous uh, handwritten notes, uh, changed while typing. And this is the way how you have to write on the standard array. Now, take this as a received, find out a RH transpose, uh, type your answer in the chat box. Another five minutes is enough to complete this chapter.
zero zero one. Most of the students they are typing. I will show you the answer also. I too got a zero zero one. And uh, one important point here. I'll give you one minute. Try to understand. Otherwise, I'll explain you. observe carefully here what i have received is let me show you again the previous slide 100 100 how we do the detection in the receiver side i'll go to 100 100 100 wherever it is there or any code what i am receiving straight away i'll go to the coset leader i will add these two mod to addition i'll get this original code word This is the way how I use the standard array. So please see it carefully here. What I am going to show you. Seventh row, coset leader. This is a error position. Coset leader is a error position. So C equal to R plus E. So one double zero, one double zero plus coset leader zero. Sir, if I get somewhere this I have received. Simply add this, you will get a code word. This is the way how we use the standard array. Hope. You are getting. You can copy down this, or if you have already written the table, a standard array is there in your notebook. Mark using pencil that this plus this, I'll get this. Put a arrow mark or do something so that you can understand whenever you refer it. So what code word you are getting? One double zero, one zero. Similarly, you can do any other received uh, R equal to. You can take this is R. Simply add this mod to addition. You will get this. All these are code vectors uh, without any errors as it is we are writing. This is the way how we can make use of a standard array. Almost this, uh, I think, uh, end of the chapter. This is uh, how I used to show earlier to my students in the class. Uh, hand written because typing will take a lot of time hence i used to scan whatever i have written i used to show but for you people i think uh, almost all everything i have typed i taken a lot of time to type all these things and i'm showing it to you no doubt next year juniors will be benefited and this and this standard array i take this and try to uh, uh, prepare a standard array that's all that completes your chapter almost i uh, given g equal to write the standard array for 6 comma 3 code this is given g but here i think instead of uh, ip p i is given and the procedure will remain same we can take any example uh, which we have discussed in the class for that problem statement you can write a standard array understanding is easy but uh, writing is a time consuming when you start writing it will take more time
okay i'll show you the snapshot this is the way how you have to do all zero coset leader you have to write down the code word then one bit change in all the code words two bit, second bit change third bit change of the first row now that is one important point you have to remember while writing uh, including me we do the mistake we refer the previous code and we make a change in one bit but we have to refer the first row only put a scale or something here so that always you will see the first row uh, put a paper do something even in the exam also so that you will refer always the first row and you will write down that is the only one point remaining i think uh, is very easy this is the end of the linear block code let me show you the back the table again still if you have any doubts you can ask and how to prepare also let me show you again this is a way how you have to prepare make a changes in the say for example third row only the second row is actually oh, first row is a original code word only first row you have to refer you have to make changes that's all I'll give one minute if you have doubts you can ask me that completes your uh, chapter and uh, I'll be here for another 5 minutes if you have any doubts you can ask me